I think we've been talking about restructuring the business for the last few years, and uh, I thought we'll give you a glimpse in terms of where we are in terms of that repositioning of the business in the last couple, uh, four or five years. We wanted an integrated business, a uh, single point of contact with the customer. In order to deliver these solutions, you need to understand the customer and understand his business and to leverage the IT capability that we have internally uh, in the customer set. And we've actually had quite a, few, uh, quite a positive feedback on that. So where, where are we? Uh, if you look at the infrastructure business prior to 19, uh, 2008, in fact, it was the bulk of the business. In 2008, it was 80, 81% of the business. And uh, today, it's standing in 37% of contribution to bottom line. Historically, we sold HP hardware. That's a reality. As much as we could have uh, talked differently about the business, that was the reality of the business. Today, the solutions offerings has changed significantly. Uh, we've got a portfolio that's integrated, we've got a strategy that's integrated. So as an example, as I said earlier on, when we engage with a client, it's a single engagement with the organization. So we don't have 10 engagement or 10 account managers internally calling on a client. And that is a big differentiator for us, because it gives us the capability of the organization understanding the infrastructure, the business of, uh, of the customers that we service. So where do we have gaps? Clearly, we've uh, got ambitions in terms of the application area. Uh, we've got gaps around SAP. It is a, a big play in the market. SAP is most probably dominates that particular ERP space in excess of around 70%, I guess. Uh, similarly with Oracle. So we're looking in the applications phase for niche acquisitions that will fill our ambitions. We have stated before that we won't acquire in this space. It's just too costly to try and build this infrastructure uh, organically. So it is an acquisitive strategy. The CUSA is one of the acquisitions that we've done. And uh, as you would know, we're not jumping on the bandwagon to do acquisitions. It was a strategic acquisition in the space that we're playing. And if you look at the PE ratios that we're paying, it's, make sensible, uh, it's a sensible decision for the organization. And similarly, we look at uh, acquisitions in the market uh, uh, in, in those particular areas. The way forward, we think we've got, uh, we need to extract uh, value out of the investments that we've done. Uh, clearly, there's a huge amount of leverage that can take place in the infrastructure that we've built. The public sector is still a, a big play. So we remain invested and hopeful that uh, we'll see some turn around the, the public sector. Right now, it's costing the business in bottom line and in effect is part of the reason as to why the operating margins is, is slightly lower. We haven't, uh, we've, we've scaled it slightly down, but we haven't disinvested from our public sector uh, focus. We've migrated out of, and are migrating out of the commodity business into the value space, and there's, with that unlocks uh, quite a bit of opportunities. And we will look at uh, targeted acquisitions uh, for the business in areas that uh, I've alluded to earlier on. So I think we're in a, in a, in a very good space. Uh, we, as a management team, are confident in terms of the strategy and how we've executed on it. I guess the question is, could we have been more aggressive as far as acquisitions are concerned? And that could be a debate that we can hold offline. But the reality is we needed the base, as Gary has, has, has alluded to earlier, and in understanding our business first before we start adding and bolting on other businesses. And I think we're in that position now We've got a fair grasp of what our business is all about and which are the areas that we need to expand into. So we are looking more aggressive at acquisitions going forward in the areas that we've identified.